Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Chapman. This is John from Lakeshore V Center. I'm gonna be walking around today, showing you some of the basics on your new Cyclone toy hauler. One of the first things we wanna do is, once we get to the campsite, we wanna go up in this front compartment up here, and we wanna make sure we turn this battery disconnect switch. Notice the motion sensor light. That kicked on because we had that battery switch actually hooked up. Next thing we wanna do is we wanna test it. We can push both arrows at the same time. That powers up our keyboard. We've got a propane tank located on either side of the camper. I'm gonna show you the one on the other side with the auto changeover valve. This little green valve is an indication that there's propane running through the lines. We filled up the tanks for you. There's a selector. Whichever direction that selector is going is the tank it's actually drawing off from. You slide out TV in here, but what's important to note here is this little button right here. That button is the first slide you need to slide out when starting this camper. You slide that out and that'll bring out the primary slide on this, this particular side. You have an exterior stove right here with a quick connect gas line right below that. You got your spare tire there and your water low points, which are right there. I'm gonna walk you around to the other side and show your water, water hookups and explain those. And then we'll go inside and show you some of the other basics. This is your main docking center. Notice this is where we're testing out your water system. City water connection, black tank flush here, valve positioning, depending on what you're attempting to do. Fill the tanks, you know, dry camping, whatever you prefer. This turns on the water pump here for the system when you're drawing from the tanks. Turn on the lights, simply push it in the center. Do keep the little ones away from the exhaust of the furnace as it can become hot over a period of time. Your discharge valves for your waste are located right there. You've got a three inch discharge, which is back there. We do give you the sewer hosing and electrical adapter that come with that. We're gonna walk you around the outside here. It is a good idea to check the lug nuts on the tires after the first 250 miles as they can become loose. You have additional discharge valves here for your back bathroom, as well as black tank flush. And behind here, you have the fuel dispensing nozzle right there. Front tank is for your generator, back tank is for your reserve tank. And that turns it on there. And of course, that's where you've got your fancy power cord reel. You've got a ladder here on this camper rated at 250 pounds. Simply pull those pins and that will swing forward. Exterior patio here, release these locks, swing them sideways. When the patio is in horizontal position with the cables attached, that's patio positioning for the ramp. All you have to do for the ramps is make sure that you uh, take the uh, patio there and det detach those cables. Let's walk you inside, show your new camper. As we walk inside here, our main control center is located behind this keypad. This powers up our main control panel for everything from your bedroom sides. We just slid that out. Your main, your selection of options is right there from starting your generators, your auto leveling, to powering out your awning, turning on your various lights. Power management system for your three ACs. This turns on your overhead lighting, as you can see. This is your inverter, which changes your 12 volt to 110 for certain powered outlets, and we're gonna show you those here in a second. This is your main slide, which is that slide over there. This is Yeti package. You have additional heating pads in the tanks and lines, so in case you wanna camp in cold weather applications. One other important thing to notice up here in the bedroom is there's a switch over by that corner of the bed. That switch is what allows the angle of this bed to come up. This is the stickers I was talking about for those 110 outlets. Those 110 outlets right there, see that SOL, that just a solar panel, that's all that is. One other important thing to note is you do have a power boosted amplifier for your TV antenna right there that does need to be green for that to be working properly. I'm gonna show you how your thermostats work here real quick. Real simple operation, all we do for that, if you wanna push this snowflake appears up and down arrow keys, control the desired temperature to go to furnace, same thing, up and down keys, control desired temperature, and then that shuts it off. We're gonna cycle, kick your air conditioner back on to make it nice and comfortable. Your keys are gonna be located around your kitchen faucet. We're just finishing detailing, cleaning your camper. When you go to wanna start your uh, oven, or stove, you'll simply push in, rotate that, you hear the spark igniter. When the propane bleeds through the line, the air will come out and then you'll get a nice, wonderful little flame 
on your new stove. Microwave, real straightforward, simple operation. This operates your overhead vent and more of those additional solar powder outlets throughout the camper. Your remotes are gonna be in this box back here for all the TVs and things for the camper, okay? As well as your hose for your, your exterior shower. Now, up here, the switch here controls the powering up and down of your beds. What's important to note is the pins that are in all four corners. You have to remove those pins if you want the bottom bed to come down. You also have to push this bed all the way up as it releases pressure on those beds. This is your overhead lights for in here. These are your RAM airs. They simply force fresh air into the camper. You squeeze them and rotate those and you'll get fresh air. Washer, dryer hookups, and of course your additional air conditioner back here, same system. We snickle, we see the snowflake, we kick that on. And notice how quickly that kicks on. Now see this array of little sawdust that's coming down? You guys, unfortunately, there's nothing we can do about that for about the first month here. Every time you kick it on, you're gonna get a little sawdust out of those vents. And that's just, as you move, unfortunately, that kind of happens. Your fuse box is located down here with your 12 volt being your 12 volt lighting. And, and those are your fuses. Your breakers being your 110. Turn on our fireplace, simply hit, hit the button to the far right. This adjusts for our temperature. That adjusts our flame color. Real, real simple operation. And we just push that off. Guys, this is John from Lakeshore V Center. This is just some of the basics on your new Cyclone tool hauler. We do appreciate your business. If you do have additional questions, please don't hesitate to give me a call. You can always reach me on my cell phone at 231-740-6225. These are controls for your refrigerator. You'll see these are kind of self-explanatory on the side of the door to adjust the temperature and the various molds you just scroll through. Anyway, if you do have additional questions, love to hear from you. We thank you for your business and hope you enjoy your new RV.